Yo, what is going on guys here? My name is Xbrother Man and today I got for you a Clash of Clans tutorial. What we're going to be doing is something a little different. We're not going to be in Clash of Clans. We're going to be on my desktop right here as you can see. And we're going to be teaching you guys how to record Clash of Clans in HD for free. Now, you're going to need one thing. You're going to need either a computer or a TV. I think you're just going to need a computer. So you're going to need something on the lines of a laptop or a desktop. If you don't have one of those, you can't do this. And um, I'll teach you another method which you can use your phone. But this one's the easiest one, and this is the way I use it and how I record Clash of Clans in HD. Now, HD is way better than standard definition. What I'm talking about is if you record off an iPad or if you record off a, I think, an iPhone, anything below an iPhone 5S or 5 or 5S, you cannot record Clash of Clans in HD. And it has those little black bars on the side, and it just doesn't look as good. So the cool thing about this is you can have some better quality content for Clash of Clans and um, yeah that's basically about it. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be introducing you to the app called Bluestacks. Now Bluestacks is an application or a desktop, uh, whatever you call it, desktop download that you can get for your computer and what it will do is it will emulate an Android on your PC or TV but you're going to be using it for a PC in this reference. Um, what it basically does is if you don't have an Android account, which is a, a the, the type of phones like you know the Galaxies and things of that nature, that's how they uh, play their games and stuff. They use the Android Market, so uh, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, just go ahead and go to this website. I'll put it in the link in the description. It's called BlueStacks. If you don't get what I'm talking about, I'll I'll go ahead and explain it later. So just press this little download app player, and uh, you should be able to get to this screen. And um, it should say thanks for downloading the Blue Sta Blue Stacks app player, and it should start downloading everything like that. And see, here it is right there. I've already downloaded it, and I've used it quite a bit already. So go ahead and do that and install it, and you should get this Start Blue Stacks app right here, along with um, it should be kind of like an applications by by little bin right here. Um, these are the two things it should install. Sorry, I burped a little bit, and. Um, you should get that right there. So go ahead and uh, open that. I'm just running as administrator just because I, I don't know. I just wanted to make myself sound cool. And uh, here it is right here. It should open up in this, and you can expand it like that. Um, and I'll just go ahead and record Clash of Clans pretty easy. And um, what it does is then it opens this thing, this little tablet up. And what you're going to want to do is go to search and then type in Clash of Clans. And um, it'll say like something like search play for Clash and um, you can go ahead and download Clash from the Play Store. If you don't have an Android, this is how it all works. Um, you can go ahead, you know, click on that, and then you press install. I already have it installed, so you can go do that. And um, the thing about it is, is that if you don't have an account with Android, it'll say you want to sign up. Go ahead and sign up, do things. If you've already done that, if you already have an Android phone or something of that nature, you are already pretty much good to go. You can use your account on this and you can just sign up or log in and it'll just have all your apps and all your settings already on this thing right here. But if you're a guy who uses like an iPhone, who has an iPhone or an iPad, um, what it'll be able to do is you're just gonna have to make a new account and then you're gonna be able to go into Clash of Clans. Once you go into Clash of Clans, um, it'll do something like this. And it should go ahead and once I go ahead and load this up, my internet's kind of running slow right now. But um, it should go ahead and get you a whole new world where you're on Town Hall Level 1. So if you want to use, you want to go to Town Hall Level 1, you can do that. But uh, there should be an option here. I'll, be, I'll get this all loaded up. If if you're new, if you have an iPhone, let's say. Let me, let me do this real quick. All right, so it's loaded up. As you can see, I already have my world right here. And um, let's go ahead and zoom out. I don't like that zoomed in motion. Um, you would normally be a Town Hall Level 1, and uh, you can play Clash of Clans and do everything like that, but you're a Town Hall Level 1, and um, you're probably like, well, I want my, my old Town Hall. And there should be a feature over here in this little settings bin. It should be settings, and you can go ahead and can link a device. And what that will do is you can link uh, your old device, like, you know, link this to a new device or link this to an old device. You press that, and... Um, It'll say, I want to link this to an Android device. I want to link this to another device. And what that will do is you want to do press on that. And um, I've already been linked, but you can go ahead and find a little, little link code 
on your iPad and your iPhone and they'll kind of just you, you put it on to here and you're able to link up your uh, your two accounts so if you've ever done that before it's pretty it's pretty simple so all you do is basically you have a code right here and um, you'll have a code on your iPhone or you'll have a area where you can put in this code and then you'll have an area on your iPhone where you have the code you have you put in the code that you have on your iPhone and what it'll do is it'll load up your old village so um, here's my village it's really easy but if you have an Android account I'll do and uh, your accounts are synced up say you haven't my name's Exposure Man I use the Exposure Man account to play on my Play Store I'm able to go ahead and uh, just I, that is explained really bad guys so basically um, I have my Exposure Man Android account and I can use my Android account on all Androids because I have an Android phone so the Android phone already has my this old base set up so what happens is when I use this Bluestacks app and I sign into my Android account on here it will already know that I have this kind of Clash of Clans base on there so uh, I think that's a little bit explained better um, to uh, linking a device if you have any questions put in the comment section below um, I'm going to try to answer that one a little bit better um, in the comments so um, if you guys have any problems linking it up so yeah that's basically it so once you have that installed and your Clash of Clans all good to go go ahead and exit out and we're going to download one more thing and we're going to download a, uh, a recording software and it can either be fraps or open broadcast software if you're trying to go totally free without being illegal at all you can use this app called open broadcast software I'm going to go ahead and bring it into the picture right here from my other monitor I know you're like oh where did that come from and uh, basically it's this little recording app right here and this is actually good for streaming too it's a really good little app um, what it does is it can go ahead and capture your game and um, we are now I don't want to download that right now what it'll do is it'll go ahead and capture your game do all this cool stuff and um, basically you can just go to settings or you can add a scene which is add a scene just press that button right there and it'll have your sources either game capture or monitor capture you can do one or the other I do game capture do settings broadcast software and it could do live stream or file output file output and what that will do is that will go ahead and save any files that you have recorded to wherever you want them recorded so um, that's basically it right there you can figure out all the settings with, if you want and uh, it's pretty simple just go ahead tinker around with that all you have to do is say start recording and it'll go ahead and record the uh, your content it will go ahead and record what's on your Bluestacks app um, I'll show you quick second or you can get fraps and fraps is the less legal way um, all you have to do is just type in free fraps on YouTube and you should be able to get a variety of YouTube videos on how to get fraps for free um, once you find a video out I probably this one's probably pretty good um, I assume because it's only three minutes long and it has quite a few amount of views on um, that one has a lot of views too but um, you know just search one of these videos up if you want to do the less legal way but if you want to be 100% legal use open broadcast software um, yeah so that, what we're gonna do now is basically open up one of the two um, say let's open up open broadcast software and uh, then you're gonna want to open up your blue stacks and it should have a little ticker or something for your frames and uh, you can start recording the game because the game is now on so uh, basically do that um, I'm going to do something a little more simple. I'm going to use my uh, my preferred choice. I prefer Fraps. I'm just going to turn on Fraps. And uh, it should be up wherever it is. Oh, it's on the other screen. Sorry, I'm, I'm running on dual monitors right now and I can't find out. I can't, can't I'm just going to go ahead and drag this over here. So here it is. Um, Fraps, you can set it up however you want. Here are my settings. Um, if you guys want, there's like tutorials online on how to get your fraps all good to go. But uh, we're going to go ahead and now open up our Blue Stacks app player. And what should happen is since it's fraps, you'll see your frames per second count ticker right there. It's that little yellow thing. Just go ahead and open up uh, your Clash of Clans. And um, once it gets open, you know, if you if you have slow internet like me, that's not so good sometimes. All right, let's come on, come on. And um, sorry for this such a hectic tutorial. I hope you guys relatively understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I know the blue stacks is probably going to be the most asked question of I can't link my device or anything of that nature. But please help each other out in the comment section below. Help linking your device is a lot easier than I described it. Um, all it is. is 
like I said, just go into the settings and it'll say link a device and it basically answers it for you and you're able to go ahead and here's your Google Plus. What your Google Plus is is you can just connect it already and your base will be already. So you have a Google Plus that's connected to an Android device. It's really easy like that. So once you're in, you can go ahead and press your hotkey. I'm not sure if I can record two things at once, like record up my screen and record a uh a game at once so I'm not going to go ahead and do that just press your hotkey mine would be F12 and uh, wherever you set your file output which is let's just take check fraps right here it'll say something like uh, like your um, movies and it'll say folder to save movies in and um, mine will say desktop.yt and that that's this folder right here it will save all my files to right here so as you can see here are all my raw files um, you can go ahead and play one of them we'll open one of them this is a raw file this is probably an old video that I used to have and uh, here it is right here and as you can see there is that right there and that's just basically the raw output file and um, you can go ahead and render them into anywhere you want uh, what I personally prefer is sunny Vegas but what you can do is um, you can go into either Windows Movie Maker, put the file in there, and it should be 100% good. I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. First, before I go ahead and do that, here are the settings that I'd recommend. Having a video capture hotkey, what a hotkey basically is, you press it, it starts recording. Record at 30 frames a second. Uh, you know, record. Uh, what I recommend doing if you're trying to do, um, you know, record with your voice as well, talking into a mic or something like that, choose multi channel. And then it will have options for an external uh, input, which is my blue mo blue snowball microphone. Um, it's pretty easy. Just kind of look at that. Here's screenshots, FPS in general of that. So uh, pretty easy right there. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you now real quick. I'm going to go ahead and open up Movie Maker. If I can go ahead and find it real quick. Here's Movie Maker. Now this comes with pretty much all desktops right here or Movie Maker, iMovie, something you know a Mac of that nature um, this is it right here it's pretty simple what you're gonna wanna do is basically once you have your raw file from right here so I saved mine to a folder called YT um, go ahead and oh, don't do that and um, go ahead and just drag and drop here we're getting it to where we can drag and drop easier drag and drop your raw file that you just recorded into the app and uh, it should be ready to go ahead and play once it's all loaded up and as you can see right there, it is pretty good to go. Um, the only problem is, is right here. It should show you, we'll show you real quick. So as you can see, you can see, all right, uh, we're going to go back. Uh, the only problem is you can see the bottom of this, um, your, your app right there. It shows the, the home screen buttons and things like that. If you don't like that, I think what you can do is there's probably I'm not sure if it's in here um, it could possibly be in here but movie maker if you don't have movie maker if you have movie maker um, it's a little more you can go ahead and like crop the video somehow um, let's see if we can do that let's see video options it should be around here and um, it will say something like trim tool Let's see. No, that's um, for trimming the video out. Um, I don't really know 100% on Windows Movie Maker because I use went Sony Vegas. If you want to get Sony Vegas for video editing, um, just type it on YouTube. So free Sony Vegas. Watch this. Free Sony Vegas. And I'll literally show you how to get Sony Vegas for free. That's pretty easy. Um, that's the less legal way. Um, what I do right here is I'll just open up Sony Vegas and this is a really good editing app um, if you don't have it already just go ahead and get our raw file real quick um, here's the raw file that we have you can't just upload these raw files usually right to you know you record your um, your Sony Vegas uh, you record your um, your Clash Clans content you can't record it and send it right to YouTube because the file is usually too big so we have our video right here and we want to get rid of these black borders and things of that nature we're just gonna go ahead and first type in just do click this properties button switch maintain aspect ratio to off and then you can go ahead I have a uh, preset app and basically you can just drag and drop and uh, 
the easy thing is we'll just be we'll show you you can just press this and it'll go ahead and uh, it'll keep it in or take it out and uh, that's the easy way to crop your video so um, that's how to get it borderless and record in HD um, you can get any of these apps right here um, I'll try to give you all the options so you guys could have total free freeness when it comes to uh, when, yeah you guys have options when it comes to recording I might have confused you more I hope this is pretty understandable you know just download BlueStacks download a recording app and download a video editing app or on your computer and you should be good to go you should be able to connect it that's pretty easy it's very simple guys I'm telling you it's really easy it's a very efficient method so that's basically it thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed any comment section comments please put in the comment section below any questions please put in the comment section below if you like this video please leave it a like because I'd like to get people to see that this is the easy way to record Clash of Clans and uh, if you guys would like to see another method once again comment section below if you guys want to have any you know tutorials or suggestions you would like to hear from me please follow me on Twitter at xbuzzerman it should pop up right around now um, that's my Twitter handle right there, and uh, I try to get around to all my tw uh, my my uh, my tweets, people who tweet me, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and uh, later.